Hey YouTube, my name is Chris Canada, and if you're watching this video, you either know someone who's affected by coloboma, or you have a coloboma. Uh, coloboma is a rare eye disease. It affects one out of ten thousand people. So I guess I was one of the lucky ones. But no, I really am lucky because uh, I have a coloboma in this eye right here. As you can see, it's like. It kind of drifts. I got like eye surgery when I was little. Uh, for the most part, you know, it looks rather straight. Like, well, I looked to the right. It looks pretty straight. I have glasses. I have a pri It's like a prism type thing. It makes me pretty much it's like a concave lens. So it helps me like look straight when I'm looking at people. Now, um, I was always skeptical about making this video just because I didn't really want to just tell the whole world. Uh, but you know, it does help, you know, seeing other people that go through similar things that you go through. Obviously, you know, when I was growing up, um, people asked, Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? And it didn't happen too often just because the fact that it's not that noticeable unless you're just really just staring at my eyes. Um,. Plus, um, like I said, I had surgery on it. I went to the uh, ophthalmologist. He didn't, he recommended that I didn't, I don't get another surgery. I mean, um, uh, I guess I should give you a little more details about this eye. Um, pretty much, I have a coloboma in the back of my eye. Uh, what a coloboma is, is, it's an unfinished eye. So it doesn't form all the way. So there's a hole in the back of my eye and it affects my vision like in this eye right here I have like a little vision like I'm not like completely blind like okay to give you a good estimate of what I see um right now like obviously this is a computer screen but I can't even make out my nose and I'm looking at myself like I know there's it's, it's kind of colors I see, I see colors and I see shapes, but not really shapes. They're kind of blended shapes. So you see colors and blended shapes, and um, I can tell I'm smiling right now. Well, I can see teeth. Okay, it's it's not pinpoint at all. It's bad. Like I can like I couldn't drive with this eye. Like that's why I'm lucky I have this eye, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I, could, I couldn't drive or even consider like living life with this just this eye, just because I'm legally blind in it and I can hardly see out of it. But I'm thankful I have two eyes. Like I live, I live the normal life. Um, I can't complain. I, I played football, played basketball growing up. Um, sometimes like if I get hit really hard or if I get up really fast, I see flashing lights. Uh, that's like a it's a sign of retinal detachment um, but you know a lot of people see flashing lights it's not like a serious I mean it could be serious but it's not a big deal um, that's pretty much it I mean like, I live the normal life you know if you guys have any questions about what I went through or if you want to talk about what you're going through right now obviously with this case it can be a lot worse I'm going to school right now for optometry. But as of now, I'm currently enrolled in college. I go to uh, Arkansas, well, UCA, Central Arkansas. Uh, I'm trying to get into med school so I can study eyes because I'm really interested in it. I have a drive that I just really want to, you know, see if there's any type of cure or whatnot. Um, yeah, so I, I'm an environmental science major, but I'm trying to get in optometry school. So I can be an ophthalmologist, or not ophthalmologist, an optometrist. Uh, now, as far as a, a cure or is concerned with coloboma, there is none. I, I've done a lot of research on it because you know I've, obviously I'm interested in eyes or whatnot. Um, but they have done like eye replacement surgeries with rats and frogs in Japan and. Um, you know they're still working on that they're trying to do it in humans uh, now they have a bionic eye um, 
Now the beyond is it. It's not, it doesn't really work yet. It's in Australia, they're researching that. Uh, pretty much you see flashes of light. Uh, so blind people can see flashes of light, which is a breakthrough. So as far as our lifetime is concerned, I don't really think that we're gonna see a cure for like holobomas and eye replacements and whatnot. But, you know, I really think it's gonna be in stem cell research. Obviously, a colobone is an unfinished eye, which means the eye didn't grow all the way. So maybe the way to cure that, it would just be to finish growing the eye. So I believe that stem cell research is gonna be the the pinpoint where we need to you know, research to find uh, eye development and whatnot. And I do wanna study that, see like uh, all the ins and outs. Uh, so, you know, who knows? Um, by the time I get in that program, uh, they, I read some article. Don't don't believe this because you know internet, it's, it's like an iffy iffy type of thing. But they were talking about like within two years you'll be able to have eye replacement surgery, and I don't believe that. Uh, I've I've read too much about not like it science being science fiction at that point. Um, but you know, like I said, they are, you know, making progress obviously. So I do plan on uh, like, you know, doing research and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. If you have any questions or any concerns or you want to talk about, leave a comment. Uh, I'll leave my email as well if you want to contact me through email. Hey, my name is Chris Canada, Colabama, one in 10,000. I thank you guys.